guess for both guys, you know, offense pretty much did a lot tonight. Had a line, a lot of walks, basically needed just overall. I'll just recap the approach and how things played out. Yeah, I thought as a whole, we uh, executed our approach today. Um, we were very, very patient at the plate. Uh, a lot of walks, hit by pitches, um, and just not trying to do too much. And then driving in runners, thought we did a really good job. JC hit a home run today. Uh, can you can you talk about that for us? Yeah, anytime you go backside like that, um, it's always a good thing. You kind of know your your swing's in a good spot. Um, but just, I mean, he left one out over the plate, and I just put a good swing on it. Peyton, what did you think of the uh, the way your your defense played with the reserves in in the field today? You know, just uh, going out there and doing what we practice every day. Um, I mean, the ball was hit, and I just reacted. I mean, that's about it. I don't know, after you and R scored a couple of runs there, it might be a slugfest. The way you guys answered in the first, I think, you know, all nine guys in the lineup scored. You don't see that very often. What 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 do you think about the way you guys answered and kind of removed much doubt after that? Uh, I think that uh, this team's really good at not uh, panicking when a team scores first. Uh, we did a really good job being patient, getting our pitch, and then when we got our pitch, we hit it, and then we drew some walks, which led to even more runs. Yeah, I think it just kind of shows you how dangerous this offense can be. Um, and honestly, just like responding um, with the with the two spot in the first inning um, is, is really big. I mean, it's going to help us a lot down the road in the SEC. Um, you know, our starter might not have it the first inning and uh, respond with like a, I'm not saying a nine spot, but respond with a good amount of runs. That's only going to help the starter go longer. They had control issues, but you guys, you know, some guys, they, they'll swing at balls out of the zone, but you guys were patient, took your walks, you know, got a lot of singles and with along with the home run. Just what did you think of the approach uh, tonight? Yeah, I thought it was really good. Um, I don't know, we didn't strike out very much, um, but really just seeing seeing a lot of pitches um, and fighting them off when we had to. Um, but uh, just taking our walks when we when we can um, and just hitting singles, not trying to get too big, trying to go up there and hit a home runner single time. Um, it can kind of be really easy during midweek games to try to get outside your approach. And uh, but when you when you stick to it, you can put up a lot of runs like we did tonight. Peyton, you haven't had a ton of opportunities this year, but it seems like you've come through with a lot of RBIs, some good defensive play. Just what's the key to staying ready for these opportunities? Man, I've always been told if you uh, stay ready, you don't got to get ready. And so every day, I just, you know, plugging away, uh, trying to get better every day until my name's called. And when it is, going out there and just relax, do my thing, not get too big. You know, it's pretty easy when you don't play a lot, when you finally get your name called to let the moment get get the best of you and you go out of your approach, just like he said. And I think I did a pretty good job just, you know, staying relaxed and doing my thing. I feel like the dugout was having some fun there. I want to like Fitzpatrick might have to hit. Uh, what, what was that like? Yeah, no, we were, I mean, we were kind of hoping he'd get to, you know, just see if uh, they'd let him go up there and hit or not, if we'd pitch it for him. Uh, but, yeah, that was kind of crazy. I kind of experienced that my freshman year at OU a little bit. Um, we had a pitcher come in and left the game. We burnt the DH or something, uh, and the pitcher had actually had to go up there and hit, and they just told him to take. But, I mean, I kind of wanted to see Fitzy hit as well, but, like, whatever, we didn't get that opportunity. Jace, for you, I'm sure you try not to let numbers affect your approach to play, but when you, you're, you're it's mid-April, you look up at the board and you're hitting 418. Like, just does that help calm you down and just kind of relax you at the plate where you're knowing, like, hey, I'm off to a great start. Like, I can just go out there and stick to my approach and swing it the way you know how? Yeah, I mean, it's it's always it's obviously nice to see those numbers like that. But, I mean, at the end of the day, they don't really mean anything because you just try to play pitch to pitch and game to game. So, I think as long as I just stay with my approach, um, I can have as good a season as I want. We want to answer this. Uh, you guys have talked about the approach in the box, but like when you're in the dugout and you see your team scores 21 runs, I mean, how fun is that? I mean, I'd say it's pretty fun. You don't see a lot of 21 run games, especially at this level of baseball. And uh, to see up and down the lineup, everyone, you know, having some success, uh, it's pretty fun. Yeah, especially the guys that don't get to play very often, um, seeing them come in on these games and just getting a little bit of a taste to have success and, and really trying to pull for those guys is a big, uh, I think, team morale and chemistry boost for sure.